welcome to Woman at the Wheel. I'm Sue. And we've been having problems um, with this truck, basically. Um, it's not the fault of the truck, it's the fault of the parts. We've been having to replace the vacuum air pump repeatedly. Um, the pump that is on it now is number seven. So about a week and a half ago, I was on my way down to South Texas to the Gulf and the pump went out on the side of the road um, north of Bowie, Texas. So um, I had the parts and I had the tools, so I got out and I changed it out and I went down and got my trailer delivered and decided that's it, I've had enough. So our, our dummying up a vacuum pump to use as an idler pulley didn't work because the pumps are crap. The pumps that you buy at the parts store are rebuilt pieces of crap because they use crappy parts um, when they're rebuilding them. So um, to have six pumps fail in five months is ridiculous. <laughs> it's just utterly freaking ridiculous. And it, there are two components in the pumps that, that keep failing. One is the bearing on the shaft. When that happens, you just lose it. It just, you know, it won't turn, so it eats your belt. Well, luckily, um, the last time it happened, it didn't actually eat the belt. It just slipped the belt. So I was able to reuse the belt. But um, we, we can only come up with two permanent solutions to this. One is to get rid of the pump altogether, which we already have installed an electrical pump, so it's not even functional. But because it's in line with the belt, and it's a belt drive truck, we haven't been able to delete it because we couldn't get the right size belt. So we got a belt, um, ordered it, and it got here yesterday when I was up in Colorado. Okay, I found it. It's looking for a knife to open this box. Um, so we found this belt, and he got it ordered, and it got delivered while I was in Colorado, delivering a trailer up there. Is that a trailer actually? And it's a special order item. You can't just go to the store and buy it. So if this works, we're going to have to order a couple more just to have one on the truck and one in stock here in the, in the barn. So I've got that. I need one more thing. I need a bungee cord. Yeah, okay, sorry about that. I thought I had all my stuff together. Clearly not. So I'm going to change the position of the camera so you can see what I'm doing. Um, I'm going to be taking off the compressor. I'm going to get the belt off, take off the compressor, flip it up and over, and then I'm going to take that vacuum air pump completely off, put the compressor back on, install the new belt, and see if it'll run. It's crapshoot. So, but any anything that we can do to get rid of this problem would make me happy because I'm tired of having to change it out on the side of the road. I mean, I changed it twice now on the side of the road, once in the pouring rain, and the next time on the side of a skinny little road between here and Bowie, Texas. So, look at this. So once you be able to see everything I'm gonna be doing here, I'm gonna take it up. Okay, hopefully this will give you a good vantage point to see actually what I'm up to. So half the battle with getting this done is just getting up on the damn truck to do it. Getting all my tools up here. So I'm going to be getting up and down probably a little bit. i grab my coffee real quick. Take a drink. Just because, you know, to fortify myself for the task. This kind of thing used to be easy when I was young, you know? Now it's not so much. Not very much at all.
Okay, so my first thing is going to be get this belt off. This is the tool I need for this job. So Bill customized this tool for me so that I can do this with both hands. Because for me to get the belt on and off with one hand, it ain't happening. Okay. So I've got to unthread the belt. So I've got to get it off this pulley down here. Ouch. Dang it. Pinch me. These belts are a pain in the butt. If you've ever changed the belt, you know what I mean. Gotta get it off that bottom pulley. And get it out of there. Okay, so that wasn't so bad. Pretty much got it. Alright, so here's the old belt. So I'm going to retain this because I may have to put it back on if the new one doesn't work. I do have a replacement for this, but it seems in good enough shape. It's not, not pouring up or anything. Okay, so that was the first part of this operation. Get that out of the way. Now the second thing I'm going to do is get this compressor up off of here. The big challenge to this is just access. It's really hard to get in here. Loose. So I'm just using a ratchet. I could pick up the air compressor ratchet, but it's so loud. And I'm not just not that crazy about that whole idea. So this has got four bolts I've got to get loose so I can get this compressor up out of the way. I'm being careful not to drop the bolts down in the engine. I don't have to hunt for them. It's time to put it back. I have them floating around in there, getting caught up in anything, busting anything. These are long bolts, but they're, the threaded part's not too awful bad. The ones actually holding the vacuum pump in seem longer because you have to get in there with a little open end wrench. You can't really, there's no room to use anything quicker. Electrical connector connectors off. Guess I did a pretty good job tightening those back in. This is a lot more comfortable doing this in this barn than it was doing it out on the road, especially in the rain. That I was so pissed off having to do that. I was wearing a skirt that day, of all things. My boots were full of water. I mean, it was pelting down rain, hard rain over in Arkansas. Yeah, I was like a drowned rat. Felt like a drowned rat. One more bolt on this. <sighs> <laughs> I 
a year ago if you told me I was going to be doing this I told you you were freaking nuts but guess what <laughs> okay I'm gonna make a quick adjustment here to this camera I think I don't like exactly the view it's giving you it's a little too close a little too angled Ouch. Oh, I gotta try and judge. I think that'll work. Okay, we'll try. We'll try it. Oh, man. Gets harder the older you get to do this stuff. It's annoying, actually. It's really fucking annoying. Okay. I don't know if you can still see down in here very well. I don't know. I'll try it and see. These bolts, once you get them part of the way out, it's pretty easy just to use your fingers on them. Get them pulled out of there. All right, that's bolt number four. My bungee cord. This was the hardest part of changing this out on the side of the road. I was having trouble getting it to hook to anything, but what I do here. This part where you just about gotta get in the engine compartment with it. Now this is not something that I invented. This is what the mechanic who did my second change out showed me to do. I managed to get a grip on it somehow. Doesn't take much, it's just gotta step out of the way. So the part that I'm replacing is down here that I'm removing actually. Okay, I don't like that camera angle now. Let's see what we can do from up here. I can actually see maybe what I'm doing. Okay, let's try that. See, there's the, yeah, okay. That might be about as good as we can get. So this particular pump, for some stupid reason, has two different size bolts on it. Most of them just are just a 10 millimeter. So it's pretty simple. But this one's got two 10s, and then it's got a 14 on the bottom, and when I When I put this on in the first place, I didn't have open entrances at all. Or I had a 10, I didn't have a 14. So I ended up tightening it up with a little pair of, um, with a little, little bitty crescent wrench. You know, you just do what you gotta do. <laughs> That's kinda how it works. So, bolts for this are way down in here. There's one here. One down in here, and then the bigger one down there. I've got the compressor up out of the way. Let's just see if I can. Let's see. Left, yeah. I don't have any freaking leverage. That's the problem with doing this up on the truck like this. It's very difficult. 
And for me to have any leverage, because I gotta put my feet a certain way just to fit up here. It's a little annoying. We'll try it and see. Dang it. This sucks. I didn't know I got it that tight. Okay. Clearly that is not going to... That's not working for me. I need more leverage, I guess. We'll try. Got through something out here. Not quite big enough. Will be. Let's try that. I just gotta do something for a little more leverage here because I can't get enough of a That's not going to freaking work either. It's just too tight in here. Let's try that. Damn it. I'm going left, so I'm not tightening it. Why can I not get this loose? Okay, I'm going to go look for another tool. Damn it. I'm gonna have to shit together. Ratchet here. I don't think I've got room to use it, but I'm gonna try it. I don't think I got room. I don't. Damn it! You know, some days. Things are just annoying as hell. Just gonna have to do it, Sue. How the hell did I get that that tight? Am I not thinking this right? Right's tight. Left should be loose. Son of a bitch. God, I may have to get bills to get these out. What the hell? I wonder if he came in here behind me and tightened this up or something. I was losing it. It's like that shouldn't be that tight. This is really just not any damn fun at all. It's not like I ever wanted to be a damn diesel mechanic or any such thing. Yeah. 
So these are really hard to get to because the housing for the pumps in the way and then the pulley for the pumps in the way. Everything's in the damn way. <laughs> Guess I need a 13 now. Give it a try. This is not a ratcheting one, so this may be. There we go. All right. We'll get there. It's just going to take a minute now. Got them loosened up. And what I noticed changing it out the first time was once I got them loose, I could. They were just kind of like finger tight at that point, so. Once you break them loose, you can kind of back them out. But you got to do them, I found out, you don't want to put a wrench on it and then back it out too far, you'll get your wrench stuck between the back of the pulley, and then you will have a hell of a time getting it out, which is what happened to me down by Bowie. So you want to kind of evenly back the bolts out. If you can do it with your fingers, you're better off because you won't get your wrench stuck. Once you got your wrench stuck in there, it adds about 30 minutes to the process just trying to work around it and get it loose. I'd say this with some authority. <laughs> this to me is the hardest part of this whole process. Because you have to just do it by hand and you have to be patient. So you get all these bolts loose. There's three bolts. And you gotta get them up far enough that this pump will just come off the front of the block. I should just about be there. That pissed me off doing it on the side of the road the last time because I had just bought a freaking white shirt. White long sleeve shirt and I got it all greased up it's ruined I tried degreasing it last night washing it it's just ruined so and it looks so nice nice and clean you know wasn't planning on having to do any mechanic on that trip actually okay so we've got the pump out that's the offending, offensive little son of a bitch that keeps failing. Okay. Now, like I say, this is a crapshoot. It'll either work or it won't. But instead of doing all the other stuff that I would normally do, like putting a new pump in, I'm just gonna leave it out get this reset and reinstalled the compressor I hope this works because I really don't want to do this again ever really I'm over it I mean yeah it's good to know how to do it and be able to Get yourself going when you broke down on the side of the road. But I'm, I'm tired of these piece of crap parts. Now, I don't know where this company gets their parts to rebuild these with. These are all rebuilds. But, and I don't know. This one might have lasted. Who knows? The problem is I can't take a chance on it if I've got a better way to do this to eliminate the, the problem from happening in the first place. Obviously because, you know, I don't need to be broke down on the side of the road every third or fourth trip trying to fix something. And as you can see, this isn't like an easy thing to do, even in a in a barn or in a shop, you know, it's still, it's a job. 
So add in traffic whizzing by you doing 70 or 80. Wind, rain. All the other stuff you have to deal with. It's just <laughs> not something I want to keep doing. As fun as this is. <laughs> yeah. As fun as this is. I'm over it. Ah, damn it. Ah. This is a funky angle to be working. So I'm kind of twisted. There's just not a lot of room up in here with this cow catcher on the front of the truck. Tighten these down, but I'm just getting them started good. I'm trying to. Okay, try. Get myself turned around here so I'm not twisting and doing this almost backwards. What a pain. too bad because you can actually reach everything pretty easily and you can use a ratchet on it. Now whether or not I need to get this new belt on here remains to be seen. I don't know. If it's too loose, it's, it's, it's a, it's, I'm going to have to take this part and put it all, put the pump back in. If it's too tight and it eats itself, I'm going to have to take this all apart, put the pump back in, and we'll still have this problem. God, I thought that would never get in there. really awkward. There's no room for your feet down here in front of the truck. <laughs> oh, come on. How long is this bolt? For God's sakes. Pretty freaking long. God, I hope this works. I seriously, seriously hope this works. I'm over this crap here. Had enough. Had more than enough, actually. All right. So that's back in. So the next thing I got to do is try this new belt. Hit the new belt. <sighs> In theory, <laughs> this should work. In practice, we'll have to try it and see. Okay, so getting this belt in here is such a bitch. Some sadistic son of bitch stuff all this up. Okay, so what we did, we ended up having to get a different belt to fit this. And this one was a K081145, the Gates Micro V. Bill just gave me the packaging for it. So I ordered this last night from O'Reilly's and it came in this morning. So the truck is sat overnight. Um, Bill went ahead and put the new belt on. You can kind of see down in there that the where the um, pump used to sit was in that cavity. So that's completely gone. We don't know if it's going to work or not. It's a crapshoot. It's 50-50. So we also discovered another issue. My 
grill guard is loose, which is not good. So we got to check that out. But you want to start it up and see if it'll run? Okay. You got the key? I do. Hey. Okay. Waiting for the glow plugs? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to do it three times. All right. So this truck is cold natured and when I start it in the mornings if it's cold out, sometimes I have to let the glow plug heat up multiple times. Okay. So far so good. 